Hey everyone, Rick Hong here for Hollywood First Look Features. We're at the red carpet premiere for Back Fork. It's written, directed, and stars Josh Stewart. It also stars A.J. Cook and David Selby. Let's take a first look. Oh my gosh, your hair is so cute. It's your first day today, huh? You excited? Yeah. And listen, you have the best day today, okay? <laughs> I wondered if you could tell me who sends out these welcome to the new school year letters. I'm so sorry. Well, you know, Justy's dead. I'm all alone. I never know what you're thinking or feeling. Are you want your pills, Dad? I can't do this anymore. How are you? Stay away from cotton. You don't know what you're talking about. You think I don't know what you're doing for pills? You know, your drug test came back saying you had opioids in your system. You need help, babe. I do, huh? I have gone through this by myself. I am drowning here. I watched the movie, you're fantastic in it. Thank you. And I wanted to know, I mean, where were your pants in the first couple of scenes? Right? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. It's, it's turned into this big joke. Yeah, uh, Nita doesn't really like pants. But there is a reason behind that. You know, she's so lost in her depression and just grief that she just doesn't want to get dressed and she just wants to roll up in the fetal position and go away. So, but yeah, I agree. You're kind of like, girl, where's your pants? <laughs> no, I mean, is that why you kind of took on the role to like, cause, like, cause, like the, the depth of like, just cause I mean, I was thinking I'm like, gosh, you know, she's on Criminal Minds. That show's so dark already. And then this, this movie's so heavy. I'm like, don't you want to do a comedy? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think, uh, there's funny in the sadness, and because we all go through it, and you know. Uh, but to answer your question, sure, I'd love to do a comedy. But, but you know what? Like this is I. This is sort of my background. I come from independent film. I come from like raw, heavy stuff, and uh, it's. I think that's why I'm such a normal person in everyday life because it's cathartic for me. I get to go get all that stuff out when I'm acting, so. I was lucky enough that I got to play this role, and I, I think he did such a great job. He made a really beautiful little gem of a film, and uh, it's so, uh, it's like, this is going on all over the United States, this epidemic, this opiate epidemic and addiction. I don't think there's anyone out there that could watch this movie and not relate on some level. So, I think the time is now for for conversations to start about this, this sort of thing. I think it's a very honest portrayal of the hardship, the heartache that so many in this country, specifically this in, in the Appalachians, Southern Appalachians, uh, have gone through. The people have gone through it, and uh, my heart goes out to them. Growing up in West Virginia, I guess we just tell stories about what we know, right? Uh, we write about what we know, and. You know, uh, it's just something that I've seen too much of the last several years, you know. Uh, it's a combination of a lot of stories. Um, so it was just something inside of me that needed to come out. So it was, uh, it was time to do it. Once you write something, you've done the homework. You know what I mean? You've got everything done that you want to do as far as uh, the prep work is concerned. So, you know, I've been acting for quite some time. So th that just comes second nature after the work is done. You know what I mean? So. It's just I had to show up and do it. Were there any like specific challenges that you can think of um, when you were shooting it this time around, the second time around, as opposed to the first time around? Well, I think every you know every trip out you learn something more, right? So, and uh, fortunately or unfortunately, you learn more from your mistakes. You just learn what not to do the next time around. So, you know, I took those things I thought I could improve on from the first time and applied it to this one and there was a, a ton of things that I learned this time around that will, will help in the next time, you know what I mean? Well, 
Thanks so much for watching. That's it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on our channel. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong. You've been watching Hollywood First Look Features.